peeps welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i achieved this jumbo knotless box braid look um this look took about three hours total um i did use two different methods i did the feed-in method in the back and the crochet method in the front because it was a little hard for me to position my fingers the correctly in the front so stay tuned and i'll show you how i achieved this look Okay guys, so we are ready to get started on these jumbo medium knotless box braids. Um, I just finished washing, conditioning, and blow drying my hair. I do have 4C hair, so I find it a lot easier um, if I blow dry my hair before I start my braids. Um, so I am going to get started. I'll show you all the products. And these are, this is my favorite, favorite brand of hair. I don't usually do the pre-stretch hair because um, it's not thick enough for me at the ends, but today I'm being lazy, so I decided to get the pre-stretched hair. This is a 52 inch. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be using my combs apart. Um, I did put some black Jamaican castor oil on my hair. I'm going to be using jam, and then when I finish, I like to grease my scalp with the Blue Magic. I'm still old school, I still like the old stuff. It makes my scalp feel pretty good and moisturized, so. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm moving towards the front now. I was doing the feed-in method for my knotless braids in the back, but once I got towards the front, it was kind of hard for me to actually grip it the way I wanted to and the way I was placing my hands just wasn't working. So what I decided to do was to do the easier method, which is like the crochet. So I just braid it. Like so. Not all the way down, just a little bit. Take my crochet hook. I want mine to be um, a nice, healthy size, so I just keep adding the hair. If I had a bigger uh, hook, I wouldn't have to do this so many times. I don't, so here we are.
Bye-bye.